Good morning, Miss Sonia here from the Collier County Public Library Headquarters Branch, and today we're going to make that's right, we're going to make our very own shakers. Uh, we at, at the library love the Shaker Sillies Out song, so this would be fun to make the shakers with your kids and then you all sing the song together. Uh, so, some really easy ideas for making shakers. Uh, a video I watched this weekend, uh, they sang an entire song using nothing but items from the kitchen uh, to make their shakers. So they used the salt. Uh, they also used oatmeal. And then uh, they had made their own shakers. We're gonna make our own today, really easy project. Um, this is a completed one that I have. And all I did was take some wallpaper uh, measured in a size five and a half by five and a toilet paper roll. And then you're going to use the paper. This is some pretty origami paper that we have here at the library that somebody donated. Thank you very much. And you're gonna put glue all over it. and just roll your toilet paper roll up in it. Make sure the edges are very secure, so you might wanna put a little bit more here on the edges so they're really good and tight. Then you're gonna take one end and squeeze it, just like this, something kids can do. Squeeze it just like that. You're gonna take a stapler and staple. This is probably something mom should do. Three staples down the end. And then you're gonna fill it with whatever you have at your house. Uh, you can put macaroni, you can put rice, you can put some um, lentil beans or regular beans, just depending on what kind of sound you want to come from your shaker. So today we have this macaroni, so we're just gonna use some of this macaroni. Don't wanna fill it too full though, because you do want it to move around. And so you secure this end this way, so we're gonna secure this one this way, the absolute opposite, okay? Remember last week we talked about opposites? So we're gonna secure that one in that direction, just like that. And we're gonna put three staples once again. One, two, three. And you have your very young shaker. Another easy shaker that you can make at home if you have a lot of those leftover Easter eggs, like these. You can put some lentils in the bottom of those or rice in the bottom of those. Fill it about halfway full from the big part, just like that. And then you're gonna take uh, some washi tape or if you don't have any washi tape, you can use uh, masking tape, whatever kind of tape that you have at home. I just like this washi tape because it's pretty. Wrap that around the shaker. Kind of cut it off a little bit. And then I drew a little face on my shaker. This will help accidents from happening. You have your own shaker. You can make your shaker silly song. And then we have another musical instrument for your older children that you can make with your older children. And these are maracas. And real easy to make. You'll just need a um, piece of cardboard about three inches by 17 inches. Cut off a piece of cardboard. Take some washable paint, paint it. I painted mine green because I was trying to make a little green monster. And then um, mom will need to help with this. Uh, you can hot glue 
two uh, bottle caps. I painted these bottle caps just so they'd be prettier, but you don't have to paint them at all. These came from orange soda um, containers. So you glue, hot glue those two on both ends like that. And then you'll kind of fold it like this, uh, decorate it. I put some stickers on mine and some googly eyes on mine. And then you have your very own maracas. So I hope you enjoyed our program today and we'll make some of these musical instruments. Uh, be sure and comment below if you make any of the musical instruments. Um, and also be sure and check out all of our e-resources on the Hoopla, Cloud Library, and Overdrive. And also check out all of our creative projects on Creative Bug. And have a great week. Thanks. Bye.